kind of hard to do astrophotography when this is going on. Yay. All right guys, so just thought I'd show a quick little video. I'll show some shots later uh, of the setup that I'm running. Um, but setting on the GEM 28 Ioptron, uh, the William Optics Fluorostar 91. And on top of it, you can see the mess of wires. But uh, underneath this is a Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance which I have powering the entire setup. Um, and this is actually a mini stick PC uh, that's running Windows 10 Pro. Um, so I'm able to, it's basically, uh, I can remote into this. This is connected to the Wi-Fi in the house. I can remote in and sit on the couch uh, or outside here on the deck with uh, the laptop running as my screen and obviously if it's really hot out here or really cold, I don't have to sit out here with the scope. So once I get through the initial setup, uh, that's really nice. So it's, you know, basically the idea is uh, an ASI Air, um, just running Nina and Windows versus uh, ASI dedicated software. Um, got the ZWO, uh, um, uh, it's the ZWO mini guide scope, um, and on that, got the ZWO ASI uh, 120mm mini uh, got the ASI 294mm Pro the ZWO inch and a quarter uh, 8 slot filter wheel uh, spacers I've got the William Optics uh, 0.8 reducer flattener um, and I think that's the overall setup uh, just wanted to show you kind of what I was working with and uh, as I was talking about it uh, on the video you'd kind of have an understanding of what was going on all right guys so we finally finally got some clear skies Tonight, the game plan is to get the first light on the William Optics Fluorostar 91. Um, where I'm at right now, uh, the layout I have of the yard, I think uh, one of the easier targets uh, just to get everything going for the first round. You know, this is its maiden voyage. Um, lots of new things going on for me tonight, so um, not just the scope. So. Uh, I think we're gonna hit the Pelican Nebula, uh, which is a nebula, this bright and hydrogen uh, in the constellation Cygnus. Um, I think it's roughly 1800 light years away. Uh, it's actually really close to, uh, it's right beside of the North American Nebula. Um, so, you know, I may pan back and forth, kind of see which one I'd like to shoot. Um, but going to be shooting in uh, HSO, uh, SHO, which are sulfur, hydrogen, oxygen, narrowband. Um, so, for tonight, this is going to be the first light for the FLT 91. First imaging session with the ZWO ASI. 294mm Pro. First time using the new mount 
uh, that's the ioptron GEM28 uh, and also my first time using Nina so what could go wrong let's get things started Um, everything has surprisingly went well. Uh, I've got the mount connected. I've done a lot of this stuff uh, beforehand, you know, trying to get ready. But mount, connected cameras, uh, PhD, uh, everything, knock on wood, is going pretty smooth. Um, I went ahead and did the polar alignment. Um, I used the Nina three-star alignment. Uh, all of that went well. Um, I've slewed to the Pelican Nebula um, and rotated the image, oriented, oriented it how I want, um, and in the sequencer, uh, I've already pre-built a sequence, um, so I can kind of uh, walk you through a little bit about what's going to happen here. Um, so. Um, I've got a sequence built. Uh, the moon's actually coming out around uh, midnight, I believe, tonight. Um, so I'm shooting SHO, so I want to start with the oxygen because uh, I'd like to get that. Even though it's lower in the horizon right now, I'd like to get that before the moon uh, comes out. So um, basically, I've got a sequence of uh, basically eight five minute uh, oxygen shots. A um, couple darks. I'm just taking my darks kind of periodically through the night. I've got a dark filter in my filter wheel. Um, so just going to see how that goes. So I'm starting out with oxygen, then moving over to sulfur, and then hydrogen alpha. Um, so what you're about to see right now is the first uh, long exposure that I've seen with my new camera. Um, Hydrogen Alpha, narrowband, cooled camera. Uh, took a couple, you know, 30 second exposures just to kind of frame everything up. So I'm taking a 60 here um, just to kind of see what I'm working with. And then I'm going to change everything over to uh, oxygen and get this sequence uh, started. And then we'll just cross our fingers and see how it goes. I'll get these lights turned off and uh yeah that'll be it all right so we're about 10 seconds away from the first 60 second sub so we're gonna see what 60 seconds can do and then i'm gonna be running five minute subs so uh the only issue i may have is uh, that it is windy tonight oh my god do you see that Wow, dude, I'm freaking speechless. This is one 60 second sub. I mean, I know it's a bright nebula and everything, but coming from a DSLR, oh my God. I cannot believe that. That is incredible. Wow. Wow, yeah. All right, um, let's get this started here. So, I'm, <laughs> I'm shaking, man. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is insane. That is insane. All right, switch over uh, guiding real quick. I'll just select star. I uh, hope the focus is good enough. Um, I'm going to begin guiding. We're going to close that. It should calibrate. Um, switch back over to Nina. Once it's calibrated, the graph will pop up down here. Um, take a look at our sequence. So, 
I know I can do this in a loop and save some of these rows, uh, keep it from being so messy. Um, but the way that I wanted to start with doing the oxygen first, I didn't really want to loop the oxygen in, so I just for this one I just put it all in. Um, so you can see I'm starting out with O3, some darks, more O3 darks, then sulfur, same thing down the HA, um, and we'll end on a couple darks. So. I think if I start now, I will avoid a meridian flip, even though we're getting close. Um, five hours and 41 minutes till the meridian. Uh, so we got roughly 20 minutes to avoid having to do a flip. Not that it matters, I've got it set up to do that, but um, I've got radium flip on just in case the camera's cooled. I've got it warming the camera um, and parking the mount when it's done. Um, this is the first time that I've ever used Nina uh, for a full sequence. I've experimented with it in the past, um, but super nice. Uh, everything just works. Um, like I said, I'm using the uh, version 2 with the uh, polar line uh, feature with the plug-in. Um, all of that went well. Uh, right now, Polaris is hidden from my view, so that's a lifesaver. Um, really nice how it works. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead, just for my peace of mind, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the O3 filter. And then go back to my sequencer. Everything is on. Just double checking. All oh, this is looking good. Light, dark, light, dark. All the way down. I've got 10, 10, 8, 8, 8, 8. I think I might need a little more 02, so, or 03. So, um, I have to start guiding. My guiding's already going. I don't know that that'll mess it up. I don't need to slew. I've already slew. Yeah, I think this is good to go. Um, I'm actually going to try to start it from my imaging session. So I can close that out. That'll bring this up. O3. Actually, just gonna go back to the sequencer. Start sequence. Switching the filter is exposing. Guiding is a hope going. I've got it dithering after every other frame. Uh, this is also the first time I've ever been able to dither because I finally got a go-to mount. So just just so you guys know, first time go-to mount, first time being able to dither, first time using a cooled mono astro camera, <laughs> first time using the William Optics FLT91, first time ever guiding never got it before uh, first time using the little mini PC that I've got set up uh, first time using a filter wheel I don't have an electric focuser right now uh, the ZWO one was on back order I looked at a uh, uh, some Pegasus Astro um, but uh, haven't got that yet but a lot of new things tonight for me knock on wood everything's going good right now um can't complain all things considered uh compared to my old setup this is like light years ahead so um hopefully everything goes great and uh now that this sequence has started it'll be done in a little over five hours and we'll go on to processing and uh We'll see what comes of it. 
All right. Hopefully the next time you hear from me, it'll be over a nice processed narrowband image.